Hello, I'm Robert Grant, and welcome to LearnMyShot.com. Well, today we're going to do a shot of a steaming cup of coffee, and the hard part is to get the steam to show. So that also is the most appetizing part. If you see a nice hot cup of coffee, there should be steam coming off of it. So I've selected a cup, just a plain, like, small wooden background. I'm using a wide-angle lens at about 12 millimeters to really give it a dynamic sort of look to the whole thing. So uh, let's take a look at our lighting. So to begin, I've got a roll of vellum, then I've rolled it out, and it becomes our lighting surface. Behind that, I've got a clamp lamp with a 100 watt clear bulb. So this shooting through the vellum makes, creates a nice even light onto the cup and the set. I always like to start with one light at a time when building a still life, because then you know what each light is doing and how they're affecting each other. Okay, it looks a bit dark, of course, because we only have one light going, but that exposure on that light is very good. I'm going to keep that for now and um, add a light to this side, to the right side of the cup. I'm using a 100 watt floodlight, just like that, slightly behind, and sort of edge lighting the cup. So let's shoot one there. Now you can see the shots starting to come together. We have lit the cup from both sides. Okay, this light here is the steam light. It's a 100 watt halogen bulb placed directly behind the cup of coffee, aimed right at, the, right at the top here, just out of frame of the view of the lens. This is the light that's going to make the steam show up. So let's try one there. Well, this is looking great. We have the steam showing up and the cup is lit nicely. Uh, let's move on to the next step. So the steam's working pretty good. And uh, the shot's looking okay, but it's a little boring, just a cup on a piece of wood. So I'm going to add some props, and I have this really nice, cool, old Bell & Howell 16mm movie camera. Very cool, and actually an uh, unopened box of um, film. So I'm going to use this as a prop, and a nice side here. I'm going to put this in the background a little bit. I think it's going to create some great graphic interest and sort of lend a sense of place and time to the whole shot. So let's do an arrangement with that and take a look at it. Wow, that looks great. I love that camera in the background. It really warms up the shot and it creates a really nice still life. So I'm thinking that looks pretty nice. I'm just gonna add one more element to sort of involve the foreground a little bit more. It's the, it's the key. These cameras used to wind these up and then they would run. Okay, no battery, no nothing like that. So I think I just put that in for a little foreground object. Okay, very cool. And let's shoot one there. Well, I think that really completes the still life. That little object of the key in the foreground is really nice. So let's do the next step, the steam. Okay, the last thing you need to do is get some coffee or you can use a something like a gravy master or kitchen bouquet and just put it in water. It looks just like coffee. Get the water boiling. Be careful, don't burn yourself. You can burn yourself on boiling water. Find something that it pours nicely. And you get that going like that. Boom. Let's take a look at that. Wow, we got that nice pour and we see the steam really well. So you're going to want to try it several times to get the one that you just really like the best. So you just keep uh, emptying the glass, empty your coffee cup, and you pour more. You can do some in motion like that, and then let it set. Let me put this down. And then um, you can just watch it, and you can, if you blow on the steam a little, it sort of blows it away, and then it sort of comes back in a, in a nice, uh, fuller, sort of steamy, hot-looking coffee. So this will last quite a while. You can do quite a few exposures. You can put you blow your hand over it to, to swoop the steam around. So there you have it. You can get a really nice hot looking cup of coffee using this method. Remember this light back here, this is the key. This is the key to the whole thing. The light's got to be behind the uh, steam and shooting almost directly into the lens to get that steam to show up. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video on how to shoot a steaming cup of coffee. Um, so take it, give it a try and send your results in, on, put them on the website. And look for us again at LearnMyShot.com.
www.thepowerhouse.com.